What's up, gang? It's your girl, CC Love, and I am back with another podcast. This is podcast number three. And, honey, when I tell you the topic got me tickled, honey, <laughs> really. We talk about childhood, then versus now. Let's just get on into it, honey, because I'm just going to just jump right on into it. I am having a blessed day. I hope that you all are as well. Cue the music. Man, listen. All I know is my childhood was something totally different from what I see nowadays. I'm talking about from, you know, the 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 adults and the children. Um, far as I remember, honestly, back in my days when I was a kid, I we we had to go outside. Um, we went outside. We actually loved to be outside. We loved to play games. Uh, I'm talking about games such as hopscotch and double dutch and hide and seek, things like that. Um, especially hula hoop. I definitely used to love the hula hoop. Um, I was like a tomboy, so I used to um, <laughs> uh, be one of the ones that ran around in her dresses and in and, and skirts and stuff and had to dang near get my head knocked off to get in the house and sat down. Uh, I used to love to draw with chalk. Me and my friends used to go on the blacktop at the park. So we used to have a center that we always that everybody went to in one of my neighborhoods. And the center was like the main little. Um, it was like the summer camp uh, center, but it was like a recreational center for the neighborhood kids. And we used to go out there when we had when we, when we were allowed to go outside. Uh, we did recess and things like that. And we used to go on the blacktop and take the chalk and draw all kind of beautiful stuff, all kind of stuff, little sayings and stuff like that. Now, I was a wild child. I used to like to be on top of the monkey bars, climb on top of the slide. Whenever, you know, doing nothing that I, <laughs> just always being a roughneck. Um, hula hooping, jump roping, um, just playing on the playground. We used to slap box. It's a play fight all the time, child. Um, I definitely used to play with Barbies. Um, I used to have all different kinds of Barbies, the life size, the the little tiny ones, even little troll dolls. I used to have some of those. Um, I remember my older brother, he had a uh, Sega Genesis and uh he used to always play Sonic on there. And I used to be so mad because he would never let me play that dang on game. And we used to have to fight up in the house. Just for me to play the games, I used to try to sneak and play, it, and he would know, cause if um he'd be like, "You you been here playing my game? Cause it's warm." He said, "You been you done touched it?" And he had he used to blow on the cartridge child to get it to work, honey. <laughs> oh my God, my older brother cannot stand me as a child. We stayed into it, honey. And the only time we used to really bump heads is when we could never go outside. Either it was raining. Or we did something we weren't supposed to be doing. We was on punishment. And I wanted to go bother him. That's what I, that's my job as a, as a little sister now. You know that. I mean, we used to, you know, and that's crazy because my I used to run behind my older brother a lot. And he was always outside. And, you know, I guess by him being a boy, he had, you know, he got a little bit more uh, time to play outside. Because I know I'm not the only one. Oh, mama used to come outside and yell off that porch, come get in this house. Y'all know them streetlights on. Used to call your whole name, honey. I'm talking about the, the apartment complex we stayed in. You can hear her, her voice echo every time my mom used to call us. My friends used to think that was the funniest shit ever. Child used to be like, y'all know y'all mama calling y'all. Y'all know y'all hear her. Child used to be like, shut up, stupid. That used to be so embarrassing. <clears throat> And also, um, my brother used to like to climb in trees and stuff. Like, he used to play basketball and football. So, like I said, I was the ultimate time boy child. I would come out, uh, get out the car from church, don't even go in the house, and be outside running around him trying to climb up in trees, child. Um, we used to, you know, one thing about my childhood, I do remember we could not sit in front of grown people's face. 
My family did not play that. Let y'all be in front of grown people too long while they're sitting around talking. They were like, bye. Hit you with that in a minute. Bye. What you looking for? What you waiting on? Ain't no kids over here. Go play. Go find something to do with yourself. Get out my mouth. And they used to say that in a minute. We cannot sit around grown people. I don't understand how these kids, how these parents nowadays think it's cute for their child to be involved to have input in grown people business. <laughs> I ain't never understood that. I don't I don't get it. And oh child, playing we used to make we used to make up games when it was hot outside in the summertime. Child, we used to go get that water hose. And sometimes the little water hose wasn't attached to the wall outside. But we we turned it on anyway and we got buckets and cups and filled it up and dumped it on each other. We used to make use of what we had. We had fun, okay? Uh, jumping on a trampoline all day, you know, fighting each other, slap boxing, of course. Uh, we did used to go to summer camp, so we stayed. Um, I've I've lived on every part of Charlotte. Um, and for the ones who did not know, I'm a Charlotte, North Carolina native, and uh, on the north side of Charlotte, well, northeast or whatever, <clears throat> we call it North Charlotte. Um, my mom used to stay off Parson Street. Parson Street had two sides to it. Uh, it was connected with Union Street. Um, then you got the other side that's on, that's connected to Seagull Avenue and so forth. And then you go down towards Hawthorne Lane. So we went to the summer camp. Dang, what was the name of that summer camp? It was the church by Seagull Avenue. It used to be the, um, uh, isn't that still, um, uh, it used to be the, the Midwood. Midwood High School used to be right there. Um, we used to, in the summertime, my mom and my auntie used to meet up in the middle of Parson Street. Me and my little cousins, they used to walk us to the summer camp. That summer camp used to be fun, child, in the summertime. Then we, when we get out of the summer camp, we go to somebody's house. But then we either go to my house, and all my family come down there. Everybody sit on the porch. We had a long porch. My mom had a long porch. So all my family used to sit on the porch, child. Child, they had a grill out there. Somebody here be somebody be sitting down getting their hair curled and combed and braided while all the rest of us running around outside. Man, them was the days I'm trying to tell you. We could sit around and try to be grown and, and be fast and stuff like that. Cause man, we used to get beat down. Do you hear me? We used to get beat down. It seemed like nowadays these children, you know, walk around with the hoodies on. We talking about jackets. In the summertime, and it then had a nerve to have some shorts with the dang on hoodie child. I'm talking about we talking about 98, 100 degree weather, and I ain't even gonna cap. My son is one of the ones that do that, honey. And I, you know, I don't even say nothing no more. I said, Well, if you feel the need to put that hot shit on, <laughs> baby, that's what you do, love, because I, I don't, I, you know, but you know, I first started seeing my little cousins probably about two years ago. You know, they're all about the same, in the same age range as my son. Walking around and being in the house with these hoodies on and with the hood on the head. We used to be like, bro, what is wrong with y'all? Is you cold, honey? No, nope, I just want one my hoodie. Okay, you know what? At this point, we call that shit crazy because that don't make no kind of sense to me. Um, all these kids want to do now is just really sit on iPads, games, social media, you know, don't halfway want to bathe, you know, don't halfway want to clean or work, you know, and, and dropping out of school, you know. I'm not saying that that didn't exist back then, but it was not. It was not as severe as it is now, and, and I'm willing to argue about that all day. It's absolutely ridiculous. Children do not like to go outside no more. Baby, we used to ride bikes. Baby, please. Man, when I was long, I had, when I was little, I had this bike. This bike, it was all white, baby. My, I had uh like some rainbow color rims, baby, and I had the little the, with the um what you call them little things that hang out the side of the handlebars. But my handlebars used to be pink with the glitter up and up. Um, oh my God, I cannot that streamer. Were they streamers? Some kind of streamers? You know the the stuff that they use for the pom poms for the cheerleaders. I had that coming outside of my bike, baby. Baby, please, you can't tell me nothing. 
that kept me some roller skates. Maybe I used to skate my tail off. Every time we used to go to the skate ring, up in there. And you know what? I do not know how to skate backwards. That was fun. That was a childhood. Baby used to skate, used to take my roller blades and my uh, regular skates and go outside and skate down the sidewalk in the neighborhood. Child, what? And used to get a used to uh get on the back of my friend's bike and have her have me hold on to the seat while she ride while she pedal and I'd be holding on and she'd be dragging me with my skates. Child, that was man, what well, that was clutch. Those was the, the funnest days of my life. Um and it's just like now, you don't find I don't see no no children outside on no roller skates. You don't see them on no bikes or nothing. If you see a child outside, they either outside doing something they got no business doing, outside cussing, busting up bottles in the middle of the road, trying to light stuff on fire, just call each other gay and faggots, all kind of crazy stuff. They ain't got no business doing. Why they mama sitting in the house making more of them and, or under the influence or the, and they're getting their head knocked. Like, that's crazy. We could not sit and utilize technology besides watch TV. Baby, please. I used to love to catch one on Sister Park. Come on. And then we had to ask women. We couldn't watch up all night and watch TV. No, we could not. But we used to, I used to watch wrestling. Used to watch Martin. Used to watch The Simpsons. I used to love them shows. Come on, King of the Hill. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you. And don't let us. And let's, let's get on respect. <clears throat> now I be I be watching that show. Well, I watched it recently, but I used to watch it a lot. Um, I think it come on A and E. It's called the Beyond Scared Straight. Baby, when them when the mamas be on there talking about how their kids uh, stole three hundred and six hundred dollars from them and and be beating up the other siblings and be fighting and beating on them and how they go to showing them the, the kids' room and they got holes in their walls and they do. Oh Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Baby, every time I get to watching that show, I get to holler at TV because I be like, I know damn well you ain't saying letting this child run you crazy and tearing up your house and putting hands on you. Baby, please. They won't be sending them scared straight behind bars. So the scared straight for the ones that don't know. Um, it's a show that come on where um the parents um are like on record saying how they signed their kid up for the scare straight program where they they give the the officers or the sheriffs permission to take their children down to the county jail, you know, let them dress out, put them in a holding cell. Um, just so they can get the feel and experience of being locked up or the possibility of how their life can end up if they don't change, change their ways. And they'll, you know, the inmates in there will say stuff to them to scam and be rowdy and try to, you know, convince them that that ain't the place to be. Baby, some of them kids be in there ready to fight and cussing back at the inmates. Honey, baby, please, ain't no you going in there. I'm going to go for knocking your head off because y'all be damn if I raise somebody who going to sit there and try to fight me and break up my house at home and steal from me, baby. It ain't going to go like that. Baby, please. I grew up scared of my mom. My mom didn't play with me. Baby, I was, I'm the only girl out of two boys. I and I'm the middle child. My mom did not play with me. Baby, stay and getting wood. I had to go pick my own switches. Baby, we used to live by some woods. I never forget it. That day, I had to go pick my own switches, and I did not want to pick them switches. I know I'm going to get whoop. Maybe I put on three pair of pants, and I went to the woods and got them switches. I didn't know I was getting some bamboo uh switch uh switches out the tree. Baby, them was the thickest switches, and they was wet. Oh, my God. Baby, my mama whooped me so bad with them switches, and they were so long, I was trying to break them up. Baby, she plaited some things together, baby, and went to work on me. Baby, I never forget that whooping because when she would whoop me, the switches were so long they reached up and hit me in the face. And I had a scar on my face. I had to go to school telling people I feel. My mom didn't mean to hit me in my face. But baby, I was running, child, running from new switches. Baby, we got whooped with belts, shoes, fists, everything. And we couldn't talk back. Baby, wasn't no such a thing as talking about these kids now that they'll sit and argue with you and cuss you and tell you ain't my mom, you ain't my daddy. You can't whoop me. You can't talk to me like that. Shut up and cuss at you. They will jump on you. And these teachers, these poor teachers, I feel so sorry for them. 
Ain't no way I could be a teacher because you're not finna sit up here and put your hands on me. That's not what you finna do. I don't give a damn who your mama or your daddy is. They gonna have to come on up and when I finish with you. I listen. I am big on respect and children respecting they just respecting their elders. I remember when my mama used to sit and I was I was tender headed and I had a lot of hair when I was a child. I had hair that come way way down the middle of my back. And my hair was very thick. And my mama used to have to put me uh sit she used to sit on the bed and I used to sit on the floor. Uh, in between her legs, and she used to cross her legs. But baby, I used to squirm and holler, and she tell me, "Shut up! You gonna get this head calm And baby would tap the back of my hip and calm real quick. Oh, I used to hate when she got to the nape of my neck and catch them bee to bee. <laughs> Child, please, I used to hate to get my head calm, but I kept my mama kept my hair, and my hair stayed done. I was never lacking, baby, never lacking. And she used to put those big old bows in my head, them big. I call them clacker bows and the uh the barrettes. And the uh the end bows and the big old the big I used to call them bubble gum bows. Um, uh, they were like real big balls on the on the uh on the end of the bows. And you, my mom used to have this big old huge bow bucket. And I used to love the sound. Everyone else she went digging for something. I used to just love that sound. I don't know, like it was just crazy. Man, I remember those days. And now these little girls walking around here with blue hair. Blue and pink, man, purple braids, and and going to proms, looking like they thirty and forty years old, showing all this nudity. What is going on? Kids ain't kids no more. Kids is not kids no more. We ain't know what smoking no blunt and smoking no weed and being on drugs was. We was outside living. Used to be running behind butterflies and catching lightning bugs, baby. All of that. All of that playing in the rain. Man at home for them street lights, baby. Oh, you best. Oh, you're going to get embarrassed if you do not. Those was the days. And now you got children that's disrespectful. They out here doing these trends, stealing cars, thinking it's cute, thinking it's cool to be in these gangs, thinking they important because they want a gang bang and they ending up with nothing but dead in jail. Walk around with these sagging pants. Oh, my God. I cannot stand. I can't stand for a grown man to sag. Because why do, why do they do that? What the hell make you think I want to sit here and look at your, your shape of your ass through some and see your drawers? What you got the pants on for if you ain't going to wear them, right? Like, seriously, I'm so glad my son don't sag his pants. And you know these kids, they be sweating up and down. They too old to whooping this old fashioned whooping child abuse. Listen, I do not condone beating and abusing your child, but I don't condone no child beating and abusing their mama, and their daddy neither. I wish they would. Do you hear me? These kids, is nothing wrong with some old school tactics. I'm not saying everything got to be exactly how you was brought up, but honestly. Some of that stuff need to be instilled in today's societies for some of these children. I'm for real though, because this is out of hand, they out of control. They is out of control. Child, all I know is I remember those good old days, baby. The way my knees and ankles set up now, I couldn't do a hop or a scotch, double dutch. Now I still could probably do a little double dutch too. So I actually came up with this idea. I wanted to plan a adult field day, right? Um, and and kids, of course, are welcome. Where I just have all those throwback games implemented um, into like a big field day at a park or something. And I think that'd be so dope. Um, just bring back childhood memories. I remember I used to go in the house and steal popsicles out the free out the freezer and bring my side of my friend. Child mom used to catch me every time. I done told you about giving my damn food away. Don't be taking my food outside. They mom got food still. <laughs> Those were the days, man. My childhood. See, I was born in 1989. So, you know, yeah, we grew up with the Aaliyah and the and the Drew Hill and the Man, listen, in the escape, yo, I'm trying to tell you, man, those were the days. You used to love waking up when your mom in the kitchen. You smell with the smell of fried bologna or bacon, grits, eggs. Baby, you used to take that hot dog and cut that hot dog in half and split that hot dog down the middle and fry that hot dog. That's your meat to go with your child, baby. Please, we're talking about some good eating.
<laughs> Let's talk about it. And don't talk about no salmon patties and rice and eggs, baby. Ooh, child. Listen to me. Nowadays, these kids, you know, they want you to sit around and expect for you to keep cooking for them when they up in age and, and you know, don't appreciate good meals. They, I just eat cereal. And then they want to just walk around eating up all the fruit snacks, you know, not want to throw paper away, you know, not clean up on yourself. We had to be, res we, we had to be respectful and responsible kids. We couldn't just do what we wanted to do, especially with these rooms, keeping these rooms clean and, cl and cleaning and scrubbing, baseballs and things. I bet we had to do that. And then, these kids nowadays don't even know what a baseboard is. Look at you crazy when you say, put that tablet down, put that phone down. And I don't know what's going on. Child, something in the water, something in the air. It's something in somewhere. But that is all I have, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little podcast titled Childhood Then Versus Now. Because y'all know things have changed. You know it. I know it, too. With that being said, I am out. Please make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay blessed.